Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to George Daniel Field at Lorraine High. Tonight is senior night for our marching band, and we want to congratulate these seniors and celebrate their families and their accomplishments before graduation. First up tonight, senior is Shane Ramey Rowland, escorted by mom, Julie Ramey, dad, Mike Rowland, Caitlin Ramey Rowland, sister, and Lynn Rowland, grandma. Next up, we have Helen Alvarez. She's being escorted by her mom and her sister, her mom, Miguelina Ramos Alvarez, and Heidi Nunez, her sister. Our next senior is Mallory Alvarez, escorted by her cousin, Nicole Alvarez, her dad, Francisco Alvarez, stepmom, Annabelle Alvarez, cousin, Liz Alvarez, and her other cousin, Maddie Lake. One of Mallory's favorite memories of the band is the energy whenever we came back from all the away games. The next senior is Selena Calderon. She's being escorted by Guadalupe Ramirez, her sister, Maria Green, brother-in-law, Dylan Green, and her father, Salvador Calderon. Our next senior is Lucas Canfield. Lucas is being escorted by his mother, Renee Cousson, brother, Peyton Canfield, sister, Seven Canfield, and stepfather, Paul Stawicki. Our next senior up is Janina Klawowski. She's being escorted by her mom, Marlena, her brother and sister, Aiden and Mariana, her aunt Rebecca and Jessica, and her uncle James, also her cousin Remy. Our next senior is Precious Cook. Precious is being escorted by her mother, Taisha Cook, and father, Elan Boyd Sr. Her favorite memory is me and Selena's singing sessions. Ah, I love singing. Our next senior is Taylor Ford. She's being escorted by Tia Ford, her father John Ford, her sister Harper Ford, and brothers David and Jacob Ford. Also, her sister Tyler Casey. A quote from Michael Jackson. When I take on a project, I believe in it 100%. I really put my soul into it. I die for it. That's how I am. Our next senior is Jamie Gladdy. Tonight, Jamie's being escorted by her mom, Jennifer Gladdy, her dad, James Gladdy, her brother, Jacob Gladdy, grandpa, Kenneth Flowers, and grandma, Deborah Flowers. Our next senior tonight is Brenna Goodman. 
Brenna's being escorted by dad, Matt Goodman, mom, Jen Goodman, and her brother, Logan Goodman. One of Brenna's favorite memories was band camp, when we would play a lot of games. I enjoyed those games too, they were fun. Our next senior up is Nyesha Green. Nyesha is being escorted by Stacy Crutcher, her mother, and Soroya Green, her sister. Also, Robin, Nana, and Robert Green. The next senior up is Cassidy Eisenhardt. Cassidy's being escorted by Amanda Eisenhardt and James. Also her grandpa John and grandma Trisha, and also her sister Carly. Our next senior, Logan Jackson. Logan is being escorted by his mom, Jennifer Jackson, and dad, Dennis Jackson. Also, Gabby Jackson, his sister, and David Ramirez, brother in law. One of Logan's favorite memories was parading after home games. Our next senior is Landis Jarvis. He's being escorted by mom and dad, David and Beth Jarvis, and grandma, Peggy Kasperi, and also his aunt, Linda. One of Landis's favorite memories is the bus rides home after the games this year because we're always celebrating and having a good time. Our next senior is Jairalis Janes Maldonado. Jairalis is escorted by Ivalis Maldonado, her mom, Jorge Luis Janes, her dad, Tresalis Janes, her sister, and Jorge Hiram Janes, her grandfather. Jairalis, this is memory. I feel like my favorite memory would be the first time that I played my siblings. It was the first game, but it was September 3rd, and we were playing our last tune, and it was... Sorry, it's cut off. Breaking in the end of song. I forgot to march backwards, and Chris accidentally hit my pinky with the snare stick, and my finger started bleeding. Aha. I got scared. That's my most memorable moment, but I kept playing, and we actually did a good job on the field, I was very excited. Our next senior is Allison Loera. Allison is accompanied by her mom, Naomi Loera, her dad, Tito Loera, her sister, Alexis Loera, and Morgan Loera, who is her sister-in-law, as well as her nieces and nephews. Our next senior, look no further than Nix Glauther. <laughs> Nix is accompanied by Justin Lowther, her father, Amanda Lowther, her mother, and Preston Lowther, her brother. <laughs> mm. 
Nix's favorite band memories are how much fun we have parading back to the school after a home game. Our next senior is Ariana Matthews. Ariana is accompanied by her mother, Chelsea Jackson, Samir Chapman, her sister, Christina Jackson, her sister, and Candace Jackson, her aunt. Ariana's favorite memory is finding Jen at the games and posing for pictures. Give us a pose. Our next senior is Emerson Nazario. Emerson is accompanied by her mother, Courtney Nazario, her father, Jimmy Nazario, and her four sisters. Emerson's favorite band memory is band camp and the Detroit Thanksgiving Day Parade. Our next senior is Chris Negron. Chris is accompanied by Daniel Sanchez, his mother, Liz Marie Negron, and Gabriel Negron, his brother. Our next senior is Lumari Ortiz. Lumari is accompanied by Maritza Chapar uh, Chaparro, her mom, Sonia Sharp, grandma, Catalina, her sister, Santiago, uh, Santiago Chaparro, uncle, and Rachel Pecora, her aunt. Lumari's favorite memory is the Cleveland Orchestra trip. Our next senior is Javielis Perez. Javielis is accompanied by her sister Marley Rivera, her mother Jarlis Chavez, her father Miguel Ruiz, her sister Michelis Ruiz, and her boyfriend Jaden Rodriguez. Our next senior is Anastasia Rojas. Anastasia is accompanied by Caitlin DeProfen, Maria Rojas, her mom, Christopher Torres, her brother, Pablo Rojas Jr., other brother, and Antonio Rojas, her third. Our next senior is Selena Sanchez. <laughs> Selena is accompanied by her father, Manuel Sanchez, her mother, Maria Sanchez, her brother, Sammy Sanchez, and her other brother, Manny Sanchez Jr. Our next senior is Emily Schoenbarger. <laughs> Emily is accompanied by Jason and Amy Pruitt. Jason and Amy are Emily's parents. Our 
Our next senior is Demica Smith. Demica is accompanied by her father, Micah Smith, her mother, Colette Jones, Deja, her sister, and Joanne Moon, her grandmother. Demica's favorite memory is taking pictures with Ariana, hashtag love that girl, and being able to make memories with people I love the most. And last, but certainly not least, I give you our senior, Yalitza Verden. Yalitza is accompanied by her mother, Marina Flores, her dad, Carlos Verden, Paulette Verdon, her sister, and her favorite memory was being so hyped after the home games, being so hyped I would wake up the next morning completely voiceless. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our Lorraine High Titans Marching Band Seniors 2024.
High School Titans Marching Band.
Ladies and gentlemen, to honor America, please stand for the presentation of our nation's colors by Lorraine High Titan Battalion Army, Junior ROTC Cadet Color Guard. The Color Guard tonight consists of Cadet First Sergeant Rivera, Cadet Captain Curry, Cadet Second Lieutenant Garcia, Cadet Sergeant First Class Cardona. The Titan Battalion Color Guard is commanded by Cadet Captain Curry. Remain standing for the playing of our national anthem by Lorraine High Marching Band under the direction of Mr. Theodore Terhoon. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to George Daniel Field, home of the Lorraine High Titans, Lorraine City Schools, the Superintendent, Board of Education, Principal, and Booster Club of Lorraine High School would like to extend to each of you a very cordial welcome as we are pleased that you're here this evening. Lorraine High School and Garfield Heights High School are members of the Ohio High School Athletic Association and abide by high standards of conduct, competition, and relations with member schools. The athletes in this game are friendly rivals while play may be fierce. All in attendance are reminded this is a game between youngsters and that sporting behavior is expected at all times. The officials assigned to this game have been selected and assigned according to the procedures adopted by the Ohio High School Athletic Association and Lake Erie League. The officials for tonight's game are umpire Brian Friends, back judge Jason Mayle, headlinesman Brian Sponseller, line judge Mark Reisendich, and referee Rick Schnock.
Welcome to George Daniel Field. It's Titan football. What a Friday night here in late September. The Titans, 4-1 on the season, open the conference with the 3-2 Garfield Heights Bulldogs. Jay Ferguson and Tom Bauer here to bring you all the action. And Tom, this should be a, a, an interesting game. I tell you, I'm looking at their uh, defensive stats for Garfield. They look like they're a defensive team. Lorraine has been playing some nice defense the last couple games, so I hope it doesn't turn into a 0-0 struggle. Well, but it's going to be whoever scores a few points is going to maybe take advantage in this game. Garfield Heights has scored five touchdowns in the last two games, and four of them have either been <laughs> defensive or special teams. Yeah. So, yeah, they've had stru struggles offensively, but have found other ways to win. To win by one last week without an offensive score. Well... And the Titans will, you know, we'll see some different looks as they'll be without normal starting quarterback Chase Davis tonight. But well, we've seen in the last game where they were running that Wildcat with uh, uh, Solomon and uh, Kimball back, both in the backfield, so I'm sure they'll uh, capitalize on that that they did last year yep. or last week. But I'm sure Garfield has scouted that, watched Don Huddle a thousand times. So we'll see how they try to defense it. But I'm sure that they, you know, they were they were a skeleton in that. Now they've added some stuff. And yeah. Yeah. The hard part of that is getting your handoff smooth. You know, that's, right. That because that's yeah. a, they've been practicing that for. Coach Creel uh, talks about mesh points okay, all yes, the time. Yes. Now. Not a lot of respect for the Garfield Heights kicker as Osteer Kimball single safety is on the 19-yard line. Well, again, they've been scouting them for a long time. Trevon Fairley, Farley is the kicker, number 21. Tom, those uniforms look like old Lorraine High uniforms. And I, when I say old Lorraine High, Way 1970s old. Lorraine High uniforms. It's before the 70s even because they, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Set to get underway from north to south. Farley will put his foot, and it looks like he's a straight on kicker. Yep, spinning kick comes down to Kimball at the 18. Straight ahead across the 30, makes a cut out to the 40, almost breaks away out to the 47 yard line. There was a lot of yards after he got the ball in the first contact back there. Osir dragged some bodies. center of the field almost got bombarded as Osir had the kicking ball from Garfield and the official was calling for the offensive ball from Lorraine. Here we'll see it again. Quickly we'll look and see where the first contact was. Yeah, he was there it is yeah, inside yeah. the 40 so he got at least 10 dragging people. Okay. Now, this looks like an old That looks like Lorraine. David Whitaker, number 17. The sophomore is at quarterback. Kimball and Solomon on a, either side. Gives straight ahead to Osir Kimball. Osir breaks a tackle, got a first down. Across midfield and down to the 42 of Garfield. That formation reminds you a little bit of Dave McFarland, his, his uh, success yep. a couple years ago. Huh? Yes, it does. I like those two running backs. That gives you a lot well, of options back you're there. You're balanced. Yes. They can run a little counter. You know, they've got it. Now they've got, they bring the uh, wing back and tight end to the near side. Straight ahead, Osir. That's a fumble. There's a, there's a marker down. That was a fumble. And there's what we talked about. That's in the, the mesh point you're talking right. about right there, right? So. Garfield Heights will take over on their 43 after a successful play on first down. The Titans turn it over on the second play of the game and sacrifice well, good field position. I think there was actually number fours in there that broke it up. I thought it was a mesh point. I think he Sean caused Phillips got a hand. Yes, he. Okay. Deshaun Phillips. So he was in there. He he made contact okay. as the ball was being uh, handed off. Garfield out, taking the snaps is number 11, Chase Anington. Six, Caleb Urban is back there with him. Jet sweep look. Titans sniff that out. 
That was number 13, Armand Brown, and it was like he was in the huddle. Yes. Loss of eight. Seven, it's seven. So it'll be second and 17 back at the 36. That's what that outside linebacker is supposed to do. Oh, he came. Nobody, nobody was assigned to him. A jet sweep, I think a jet sweep was supposed to get around him, yeah. but uh, he, he got some penetration. Again, that's scouting. Yep. If they're a jet sweep team, you gotta keep you gotta be honest. Yep. And it took again. Back throws complete over the middle. That's number 10, Cam Smith. He got the loss back. That's Noah Smith. Noah Smith on the tackle? Yes. For Lorraine. But six. He is Lorraine's leading tackler. That he plays a nice linebacker in there. So they got eight on that one. They need nine on third down. Nice controlled throw. Anaton is a freshman in the quarter. So boy, they're overloaded in this side over here. Now I can see. Yep. Yeah. Gaines come over. Got it. Oh, there was a tackle. <laughs> They, 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 they called they something. Called, oh, they called the hold. Okay. The, running, the running back threw down the rusher. <laughs> yeah. Number 30, 32. That 32 was Mark. Mark is like, what's that? <laughs> yeah. And I think you have to take this because otherwise it's fourth and three, and I think they go. No, I would, I'd take them, push them way back. Yep. I think third and 19 is much better than fourth and three at them 50 where you can. Yeah go for it. and if we, do we have a replay let's take a look at this I mean if you didn't see it live you, you know I yelled there's a there's a tackle right here in the middle of the screen 32 and watch number two just wrap him up that's a wrestling <laughs> takedown yeah. okay. Garfield usually has fine wrestling programs. yeah well that's Garfield Heights and Maple Heights that's yeah. how they made their bread and butter in the old days in fact, Mike Milkovich might be the only wrestling coach to have a middle school named after him. <laughs> ah, yes. That's in Maple Heights, not Garfield. So third and 19. Straight back again, in trouble. Martin had him again. Also there was Noah Smith. And 58, Cam Sledge. So the defense picks up 20. Now, you mentioned knowing uh, 74 was a big boy, but 75 is also in there in the offensive okay. line. But I don't have a name on 75. Yeah. And you know that's the that's the bane of announcers everywhere. Is we see three or four kids on the field that we don't have, and they don't have sizes, just grades. That's why I noticed that Anna in the quarterback is a freshman. They come set, the snap is good. One step straight ahead, spinning kick. This is Hyro Williams, he's gonna avoid it. He's gonna roll dead just inside the 40 at about the 39. So Titans second possession. All things considered, when you turn the ball over out where they did, Good job by the defense, and the Titans' defense has been playing really well lately. Well, they're going to have to do something with that weak side uh, blitz coming off that weak side if they're going to do any kind of meshing in the backfield, especially with a quarterback that hasn't taken too many snaps. So, I see, let's see, I see Whitaker out there. Well, we've got problems with the Lorraine number. I don't have a 28, and he's whistle timeout Lorraine. Well, they don't have enough uh, on the offensive line, I don't think. They're missing a wide receiver, is what they're missing. This is Jail Diaz coming out. He's normally a wing back. Now, I'm curious here. I don't see number five anywhere on the sidelines, do I? Five? Yeah. And Solomon got to wearing a 28 tonight. No, is he? Okay. Yeah. Well, that's why I don't see number five. Right. No, he's wearing 28. So 
So that, that answers that question. I was going to say, I don't see number 28, but there it is. 28 is John Solomon. I hope 28 is as good a player as five's been. Solomon lines up to the right of Whitaker. Near side is Kimball. They shift the strength of the formation. Everybody's over here. And they give it to Solomon on a sweep. Solomon's got lots of people in front. Cuts it up out near the 50, a first down. Spot him at the 49 and move the sticks. And he just, he, I think he almost even grabs on here. Watch. He's following big number 90, Manning and Kimball. Oh, uh, Kimball threw a nice little yes, block on him an extra five yards. Yeah. Manning pulled from the backside guard and came around in front of him. Motion from the wing. Straight ahead, that's Solomon again. And he's going to get four. Down across the 50 once again to the 47. Now the Titans have had, you know, a, they fumbled true, but they've had a lot of breaks field position wise and the like. You'd hope that they can capitalize on this. You know, you're playing yeah. with a different backfield look than normal. Now Whitaker's going to be alone with Solomon. They give to John straight ahead. Makes a cut, bounces off Evan Rikovic, and gets across the 45 down to the 43. It's going to be about third and one. That was good patience by yeah, Solomon. He yeah. He waited. That was a great uh, pull and trap by Jeremiah Lopez, 23. He got a pancake on the defensive end that we were talking about. <laughs> yeah. oh, that gives That's us a, a cheap foul. That's yeah. a cheap five in the first down. See, what, what Lorraine's not used to, though, is now they don't have as many wide receivers as they usually do for those downfield blocking. Right. So you'll have to compensate for that with the lineman pulling and getting a little bit second level. Well, and they're going to have to count on the wing back, who they've not used as much as a blocker this year. And Noah Smith in it tight end on the near side. Whitaker keeps it, and that's a good decision as... And, this is a 220-pound sophomore quarterback. He's not going down easy. No. I see. Yeah. And he made a good decision pulling this because the mesh wasn't good. And in fact, he was trying to hand it off. Solomon looked back, and, and he just pulled. He, he ran into uh, Noah Smith, spun off. And then got a little help from uh, Lopez. I was going to wonder if they're going to be able to run that play with a new quarterback. And it looked like that was successful anyway. Yep. Six minutes to go, first quarter. We're scoreless. Titans threatening on the 23. That's Salmon. Cuts it up behind a blocker. Bounces off. Salmon gets to the outside. Spins off a man down inside the 10. It'll be first down. And this is a running back delivering a blow. Yes. He said, if you're sophomore QB, <laughs> if you're going to break tackles, watch this. Solomon, again, cuts up inside. Nice block by Rikovic, turning out the... Uh, yeah. Boom. Boom. Yeah. They're a little slobber knocker there. First and goal at the nine for Lorraine. See Whitaker the and Solomon. Now we got twins to the right. That is Buchanan and Hyro. Straight ahead give on a trap, and to the house is John Solomon. Well, Tom, that was what you hoped for yes. in a situation like tonight. Now Solomon is about second in the area in rushing and maybe uh, third or fourth in scoring. But I'd rather than worry about those stats, I'd like to see Kimball in there so he doesn't well, have to take the beating, beating. And they both were over yeah. 100 last yeah. week, and it was Kimball that got all three touchdowns. Yeah. High snap pulled down nicely, kick up by Reggie. That's still good. Was tipped and good. I was another thing I was looking at the stats, and Reggie Johnson is the only pure kicker 
who would have made the scoring stats. Okay. With uh, uh, he has like 16 and a couple field goals. He has about yeah. 22 points. And there's another yeah. one right there. Yeah. That kick was touched. It was a great job by the holder. It was a high snap. But yep. Yeah. That's Joseph Wyatt. I no, it's 23. It's Lopez. Excuse me. I saw the three. So the Titans get on the board first, which is something they haven't done the last couple of weeks. So we're set to kick off now. Reggie Johnson, number eight. I don't want to call him a specialist because Reggie knows he's a football player. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He has played a little defense, hasn't he? Oh, yeah. 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 I remember we always had a soccer player kicking for us, but we always had Summers, the coach, the soccer team. Oh, yeah. Don't let him make any tackles. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, his son always wanted to be the yep. first one down the field. Reggie puts the instep into it. Spinning kick going to come down about the 14. Bounce sideways. Pinned in there, breaking one tackle, but not getting anywhere near the 20-yard line is Garfield Heights to Marion Williams, number one. So they're going to be pinned deep. That was a great directional kick. You and know, I think it might have rolled out of bounds, but you can't, you can't trust it if you're the receiver. It's a live ball. Yeah. So they're going to be on the 17 to start with. Yeah, the last thing in the world you can do is leave that ball alone, and then we get a good look at the Garfield Heights band having a good time in the bleachers. So the, top, the uh, Bulldogs out for their second possession. Well, I say one thing no, about the Bulldog line. It's a big line. That's a different look in the back. That's a single wing look. They break out of it. Now they give outside on a sweep. Five is not listed. I'm sorry. Yeah. And he's going to lose two. So he probably doesn't want me to name him. Yeah, they do have size on their line. The program doesn't have size on these boys, but just yeah. looking at them and knowing football, they do have a big offensive we will, line. Uh, we will attempt to get that name for you, I, I, the worst thing in the world is not to have a name. So we're not going to make one up like I used to do. Give straight ahead again. Spun around out at the 20. Noah Smith got their second along with 32, Avery Martin. So the gain is to 20. It's going to be third and about seven. Give them five yeah. on that one. This is an obvious passing uh, down for uh, Garfield. I Just from their first series, you could right. tell. And again, we're looking at a freshman quarterback, Chase Anniton, number 11. Now, he's not back there, is he? Is, oh, yeah, there he is, blowing on his hands. Yes, he is. Blowing on his hands. He's got Urban next to him. Uh -oh. oh, fumble, and that's what you worry about. That's a free ball. That's going to be a touch. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Noah Smith I think recovers Noah it to five. Yeah, yeah. I think if, if, if Noah had, had his head up, he'd be, <laughs> he'd be celebrating in the end zone. Hey. Well, it's, here we'll see it. It's, it's better to get the on pads. the ball than try to scoop and score. Just He took his eye off. He was the first one that got the quarterback, bounced yeah. it back. Yeah. There so, was one Garfield uh, man, yeah, but 57 was there. Okay, so you got the quick turnaround. Let's see what the Titans can do with their third possession. And you can't get much better than this. This is Solomon and Kimbrough in the backfield. Buchanan's almost to the school. He's so far to the right. Solomon to the house. I was almost sure it's going to be handoff to Kimball, 
go on that side, but uh, Solomon took it himself, and you see a nice block. What's yes. what's? Uh, well, Kimball puts the puts the helmet right in here. Oh, I thought he had a block there. Oh, he was oh, just he, looking. He didn't have to. He <laughs> couldn't find anybody to hit. I knew John was following him. Yep. Yeah. Reggie Johnson back in for the extra point. Is that Armand Brown, number 13, the holder? Better snap, spot good, and kick looks pure. Oh, I see a flag, but it looks like the kick roughing. Now, usually they'll take that on the kickoff, that 15 yards, if that's what it is. It is roughing the kicker. I think in high school they give you the option. I know in the pros they give you the option. Right. <laughs> well, the Browns last week they took that penalty and, and moved it. Got two points yeah. out of it, yes. yes. That's because they're kicking from the 20. You like those kinds of drives that end up <laughs> one play five one play yards. Five yeah. yards. That's a that's an offensive touchdown. That's a credit to the, oh the S wiped out. Hope she's okay. <laughs> yeah, I wanted the S. She got up with a smile. Now they they are moving them back. Personal foul, roughing the kicker. So the Titans will kick off from the 45. Of Garfield. Now the question is, do you kick it deeper? Do you onside yeah, kick yeah, it? Yeah, that's always the options. I mean, if you could triple up here by recovering an onside kick. Now they've got a bunch of low numbers up front. They, maybe they, well, I don't know. If, I didn't check I didn't, the other kickoff yeah. and see how they did it. I mean, you would expect one of two things. This ball either to be in the end zone or an onside kick. And I think Coach Creel's going to put him deep. I think so, too. I'd like to see Reggie put it in the end zone. But I'm wrong. Still loose. Still loose. Lorraine, is Lorraine they says the they have the ball. And they do. I didn't see who recovered it. I want to say it's number 87 because oh, he's, he's still got the ball. Or 97, Tremaine Subtle. Wasn't it 97? I 80? thought it was 87. Well, I hope not. Wesley Williams. Do we have an 87? Yeah, Wesley Williams. Wrong team. Oh, no. No. I got an old roster. Then. Okay. I still don't have that name, so... On the back of this one, maybe. No, that's the one I just looked at. So apologize, Mr. Williams. No, that's 78, Tom. You're dyslexic. Oh, <laughs> what? we're looking for 87. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. So Titans, last okay. two times they've touched the ball, they've scored. And they've got it back again on the 28-yard line. And they could really wrap their arms around this one, huh? It's Whitaker with Salmon. He's going to throw it. He's got a man. That's Hyro. Hyro breaks a tackle down inside the 20 to about the 17, 16. Well, you say he was the JV quarterback, so he is right. used to passing. And the JVs, I, I've seen him score 50 twice. I'll tell you what they do well. They strip sack the ball. Okay. I mean, they scored a lot of touchdowns that way. Huh, really? I've never seen the they JV coach, game yet. They so. coach them that way. Slyworthy says, we don't teach sack in the quarter. We, we teach yeah. stripping the ball. Again, same play, other side. That's Noah Buchanan, I believe. It is. He's it down is. to the seven. It's going to be second down and one. And you know what? That's great. You're up 14. You're in great field position. Try let something. Your, let your quarterback get a little confidence. That's the kind of play he throws regularly on the JV level, at the little turnarounds. He's got one to each side very successfully. Second and a long yard. Still got Salman with him. Whistle, I think that they were off sides. We're going to get a free first down. I think one of the things that does is it keeps 
Garfield knowing they can throw and they can't put nine in the box. Right, and there was one of the linebackers jumping early coming across, and it'll be half the distance. And there's a timeout, Garfield Heights. They got to be a little shell shocked, Tom. <laughs> you know, they come out and make a big play to start the game, recovering a Lorraine fumble. Yeah. And Lorraine rolls them back, goes 60 yards the next time they get the ball, and then kick off. It's pinned deep, a fumble, and Lorraine gets it right back on the five. And it's 14 0, and now you get this look. Tom, I don't know well, if you saw it when we came in, but if you are in the market for a newer used vehicle, look no further than Joyce Buick GMC. They offer a diverse selection of Buick and GMC sedans, trucks, and SUVs that can fit any lifestyle or budget. Joyce Buick GMC and Northeast Ohio Buick GMC dealers are proud sponsors of the Lorraine High School Titans. And they showed their pride. They were giving away really nice T-shirts with the Titan logo on the front and their logo on the back. And I believe we're going to have a presentation at the end of the first quarter from Joyce Buick That's to yeah. Athletic Director Brian Corey. So first and goal at the three for well, Lorraine. Well, that's another jump. Well, there goes a the flag. That's on us. Somebody rocked is my guess. Okay. And I think the way yeah. Julius Manning, I hate calling kids out, but he put his hand up. That's one thing. You, if you put your hand down. Right. And then even when you turn around to see some plays from the sideline, you have to keep your hand on the ground. Right. Which is why a lot of teams don't play out of two-point stances yeah. anymore with this you know, call it at the line tempo. Motion, high snap, Salman sweeps. Salman makes a cut, jumps up, and John Salman to the house. No, he fumbled the ball. Yeah, they called it a touchdown. It okay, was, okay. Lorraine recovered it anyway as Lopez was on it, but Salman was in the end zone when the ball popped loose. So that's a hat trick for John Salman in the first quarter. This was a botch, a little bit of a botch. Not hand a good off, handoff. Yeah. Oh, the rain might have got away. With I think that bit. maybe, yeah. But see, oh, he's, oh. he's clearly in the end zone. I give the, all the credit to uh, uh, Ramsey Rowland. Uh, did you see that little push in there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're allowed to do it. You're allowed to do yep. it. There's somebody late getting out for the kick, Reggie Johnson. So the Titans capitalize on the personal foul on the last extra point. The L is way ahead of the H&S on the sideline. There's a line drive that flag. Oh, another one. You don't ever see a penalty from there. What could it be? Uh, that came That came from the man under the goalpost. Usually it's unsportsmanlike conduct when it comes in that late, but what did he see? Personal foul against Garfield. I didn't see it, but that gentleman sure did because that was as an emphatic a. Oh, I know what. I bet you we see it attacking the center. You're not allowed to You're hit not the allowed center. To hit, let's. Do we have that on on a replay? Coming up. Okay. Titans go up 21 nothing. Watch the center. See if he gets knocked back. Yeah, no, he's no, oh yeah. Oh, he got come down up at the very it, end. At the very end, that was end. Cam Sledge, the yeah. center, and they came down, kind of like a tomahawk chop on the back of his neck. I'm telling you, that man fired that flag like he was uh, <laughs> Shane Bieber. So the Titans once again will kick off at the 45. Now, are they going to onside this? Again, or are they going to go into the end zone? Time will tell. That's that's why Coach Creel has his decisions to make, and he's Coach Creel's telling him what to do right now. You know, being a soccer player, a lot of times you, those kickers can put the ball just about where they want. Yeah, he he does a nice job with directional stuff. I mean, it's primarily on the left half of the field as he's looking at it. But 
There's another one, same kick. Look at this, look at this! I don't think you're allowed to you're do that though. You're not allowed to return it. <laughs> that was Marie, Martise <laughs> Herman. And he's the fastest kid on the team, if I, if I think so, if I'm right. Yeah. If you if you recognize the Herman name, yeah, it's because his sister was a state sprinter the last three years. <laughs> so the Titans, this is just a great play. You get the big, big bounce, and you can't touch it for ten yards. And he picks it. Look where he picked it up at the 34, 11 yards. No, you're not allowed to advance it, though. You, you can't advance, yeah, right? Yeah. And that's a high school rule. That is not. That's not necessarily at the other levels of football. You know what? You know what happens in these two onside stuff. So why do you keep onside kicking, embarrassing the team? But they're doing it on their own with the unsportsmanlike conduct. Oh, it's also the first half, and you don't embarrass yeah. the team in the first half. You have to let your kids play. Whitaker one-handed that snap, handed it to Kimball, who tripped over a leg actually. For that's the best defensive play for Garfield tonight. It was a gain of one. We've got an injured Titan. I can't see a number, but I don't. Yeah, I can't see it either. I ho I hope it's a cramp, but it looks like he's yeah. As we watch Tracy Men just jog outside out there, it reminds me that your Lorraine Schools athletic trainer Tracy Menges, who works closely with Cleveland Clinic Sports Medicine specialists to provide your student athlete with the best treatment and prevention of sports injuries. Visit clevelandclinic.org slash sports medicine to learn more. Cleveland Clinic Sports Medicine, caring for pro athletes, active individuals, your student athlete, and you. And I know that the Lorraine coaches feel very fortunate to have Tracy yeah. Menges on their sideline. And while we still have some more time, I'll mention that Sunday, October 29th, is the Jim Popeil Foundation annual fundraising. Now, Jim Popeil is a beloved figure in Lorraine schools and Lorraine athletics history as he's been the voice of so many things with his radio shows and his calling games here at George Daniel and the like. And the Booster Club has a foundation in his honor that has given away about $25,000 in scholarships over the last four years. Um, and the annual fundraiser is the 29th, the Browns versus Seattle game. It's at the shipyards. Uh, doors open at 2.30. Lunch will be served 3 to 4. Kickoff for the game is 4.05. Food, raffles, soda. There's a cash bar, but it's a $25 donation for your lunch. And we'd love to see you there. It's always a good time. The Jim Popeil Foundation. Is Kimball in now at the running back? Yeah, John's probably tired. Osir straight ahead, tries to bounce, not going to get much. Out down to the 30, so that's going to be a gain of three more. It's going to be third and six. I was waiting till this play was over, but you mentioned you just read a, uh, your thing about the Pope Hill Foundation. Jim's here at the game tonight. Oh, is he? I yes. Not, okay. uh, Terry King uh, called me and said he's going to pick him up and ask if he... Uh, Great. And he could get some help. So Jim's here for the first game that's of the season. That's the first time he's been this year, and that's, yeah. that's great to see. Still Whitaker and Kimball lined up behind Fogo, Tyler Fogo, the center. Kimball cuts it back, cuts it up, gets about half of what he needed. Got to get to the 24. As sure as my name's Jay Ferguson, we're going to go for this. I'd I like to see that not one of those nice little passes that uh, Whitaker had thrown in the last drive. And I think some of the Garfield people think so too. I see the safeties motion. He needs some help. They're both dropped back deep. Now Whitaker looks over. Minute to go in the first quarter. It's 21 nothing Lorraine. And it didn't start that way. Lorraine fumbled on their second play. Snap, straight back, Whitaker, bubble screen, and that 
was just a low throw. It wasn't going to go anywhere anyhow, intended for Hyro Williams, and the Titans will turn it over on downs right there at the 28. So the luck runs out there as they weren't able to capitalize on the second consecutive onside kick. And the defense will come out. Let's mention some of those guys. Up front, it looks like it's Manning, Wilson, and Sledge. The second line, guys, I see Jeremiah Lopez. Smith was the injured Titan, so we won't have him in the middle. 13 is Armand Brown. Near side backer might be. There's a whistle. There's a Rosario. Yeah, yeah. it's an illegal substitution. They had 12 in the huddle and in the lineup. 15 is the near side guy. That's Manny Rosario. And in the middle as well, we mentioned Armand Brown. Diaz is out there, I'm sure, in the linebacker. A lot of young guys. Yeah. 16, Jael Diaz. Those guys, are, for the most part, are sophomores. Kimball is the near side corner. Buchanan, the safety. That's Wyatt at the far side at safety, I believe. Give, handoff. Trying to get to the corner, just not there. Forced out of bounds by Osir Kimball. Yeah, we don't have a name on that number. So, oh, yeah, we do. Urban yep. is number six. That's Urban, have, yeah. right? Nice read there by Brown from his in back, inside backer position to force him wide. And then it strung out nicely by Kimball and the likes over this way. Far side corner is Johnny Geiger. And I can't get the number of that safety. Hands on hips. 14? Might be Joseph Gaines, number 14. So if that's the case, I think Noah Buchanan's the only senior among those players. That just didn't that that didn't look good from the start. Uh, when you're when the yeah. interior of your line is standing up like <laughs> that, it doesn't work real well. And so let's credit, you know, particularly Luke Wilson and uh, Noah Buchan or uh, Julius Manning on this side. They're just they, bullying that. Uh, that's exactly big, yeah, what they yeah. did. They just bulldogged them back into <clears throat> the handoff. This Manning's, might be the yeah. Manning Wilson. It's, that's going to finally do it for the first quarter. We've been here about two hours. It's 21 nothing Lorraine, and that's going to bring us to the end of the first quarter. We're going to stick around for a minute as I believe we have some a presentation. Okay. 21. Carholex Bulldogs, zero. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the track as Joyce Spirit GMC is proud to sponsor Lorraine Athletics and our community. Please give a round of applause as Joyce Spirit presents the school with a generous contribution and help thank us for them, all of the support they give Lorraine High Athletics. Along with their financial support, they have also provided the school with color out t-shirts to drive our spirit. Thank you to Joyce Buick. And we'll be back with the second quarter after this timeout. Hey, students. This is the Cleveland Browns linebacker, Jeremiah owusu Moore. Make sure you start off school this year on the right foot by showing up every day on time and ready to learn. Let's stay committed, let's stay focused, and let's stay in the game. Inspiring city and campus. Inspiring people. Inspiring creativity. Inspiring hands-on learning. Inspiring global experiences. Inspiring. Fourth down and long for the Bulldogs. Well, the Bulldogs are going to get a chance to punt, Tom. Well. I mean, if you stop yeah, yeah. and think about it, that's their third possession, right? I mean, the first one they did. Partly in the kick for the Bulldogs. They scored. 
Yeah. They fumbled the snap. Williams, we scored. The we Titans. onside kicked. We scored. <laughs> we onside kicked and then didn't make it on downs. And so this is their third possession. Yeah. We've had three touchdowns and haven't scored twice. They did have one punt. The, right, the, the first, first time they punted. That's a spinning kick. Would, short. Hits about the 46 and going to be down, it looks like, right at the 50. And there's another flag. There's some serious frustration settling in out there. I didn't see at all what happened. I could be on Lorraine, but that kind of stuff happens after the whistle, often when you know when the game starts or it gets to, to one side. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's going to be against Lorraine this time, which is what I thought. And yeah. you don't always get the first shot. You know, when something like that happens, a lot of times it's the second player that gets the penalty. We said that all the time. Yes. And a lot of times, a lot of times, the, the the questionable call is called because they've already had two. <laughs> yeah. So you're not gonna you're not gonna get away with anything. Well, we always felt that that should have been five back. I think. Nope, they didn't call it. But you got to put it on Coach Creel to stop it, nip it in the right. bud. First and ten, right at the 35. Wants to throw. That's Hyro Williams. Got about six. He got popped pretty good by number nine, Namir McDonald. But the gain is six out across the 41. And, and every pass he completes yeah. is, you know, and he had to come over the top of Yes. Defender to get that through. That was good adjustment by David Whitaker. That ball was in traffic, but it had some zip on it. That was the overhand fastball. Yeah. Second and four. Back again goes Whitaker. In trouble, Whitaker throws it to a lineman. <laughs> so the lineman just runs. <laughs> this is when you're supposed to say, and there was a plethora of flags. Oh, my run. gosh. There were people that didn't even have handkerchiefs at the beginning of that play that threw a flag. That was Isaiah Ray. And he made a heck of a catch. I mean. Oh, he caught it in self-defense. Oh, my God, was that thing thrown. It's not an illegal man downfield because he wasn't downfield. <laughs> this is just an illegal touching loss of down, is my guess. Yep. Well, they're gonna they're gonna take it five, I guess. Okay. I thought that that would just be a loss of down because it was behind the line. Look at Isaiah. He's looking for somebody to block. Turns around, sees his quarterback, and gets. Whoop. He, yeah, you know, he and he, uh, yeah, yeah. They was saw Hyro Williams behind yeah. him. So third and nine. Whitaker with Salmon in the backfield. Here, Hyro Williams. I'm gonna say this would have been a good time for the first jet sweep. Gonna swing it out to Salmon, and that didn't fool us. No, so. I think everyone. I think everyone in the stadium knew that play was yes. coming. Yes, at least everybody with a white shirt. Yeah. So it's gonna be fourth and 15, and the Titans will yeah. kick for the first time. When you see your tailback whispering to your quarterback's ear, and then yeah. moving further out. Yeah. No, no question about it, Tom. So 10.38 to go, second quarter. Titans will punt for the first time. Reggie Johnson back deep. Whitaker also was always that man in the middle, so. Right, well, I don't still... think at this point you're gonna let him, you're gonna make him earn it, I think. Single set, I think single deep back for Garfield. Reggie gets it under the block. That's a nice high kick. He signals fair catch. No, no, Signal no. fair yeah, catch. Yeah, yeah, you can't caught it, and up. he realized he had room. It's going to be right at the 35-yard line. Garfield will take over. That was number one, Damarian Williams. I he think wishes he had, he had room the because everyone slowed down on the, thing, on the catch. Yeah, I think he wishes he had that <laughs> signal back because he, he, it, it wasn't a sure wave. It was like sort of. <laughs> But it was interpreted as a fair catch. Well, 
Well, that was Garfield's really first big stop. See if that translates into offense momentum now. I think three. So Garfield's in the eye, the old fashioned eye. Toss sweep. Going, well, nice, nice move. And this could go somewhere. Diaz got, was the one that didn't get the tackle in the backfield. He got back into the play, but the gain is 11 for our friend number five. See, but that was a picket at quarterback. That was a new quarterback right. on that. Uh, Right, that was that was black at quarterback number seven, but the the snap went directly to. No, that picket number three. Look, under center. Yes. Yeah, he's in the under center quarterback. He's in a sophomore. He's a sophomore. Now that there's Wide a receiver little dancing moves, yeah. over here. Number one moved before the snap, not forward. He kind of just did a deep knee bend. So that'll take them back five. Make it first and 15. 9.39 to go as they wind it. Well, if you're an old Admiral King fan, you watching this, uh, this sweeping formation they're running. I'll bring back the memories yeah. of Raymond Harris and Gary Patton and lots of great tailbacks. There's a gain of a couple. That's most of the Lorraine defense. Everybody's in there but Diaz and Hyra Williams. <laughs> Tremaine Subtle now in at defensive end, along with Manning. Wilson between, oh, they're going to, okay, Wilson between them. Yeah, with that big line and an eye formation, because now, uh, now they're not in the eye formation anymore. Now they go back to the to the pistol. But they still have Pickett as the trigger man. Takes the snap, rolling, rolling in trouble. Gets hit at the 40. Gonna look up, turn him loose, fellas. That's it, nice sport. That's sports. Turn like, him yeah. loose. Hold him up, hold him up, drive him back, but you don't have to slam him around. That's and they did exactly what they're supposed to do. That ball should be spotted about the 40. And forward progress. Well, they give him the 41. There's a whistle, timeout on the field. And that's timeout Garfield. Mm -hmm. Tom. The drive to 10,000 followers is underway. Lorraine, Schools TV 20 Facebook page is at about 9,500. Joe Box got a couple more weeks. <laughs> He's going to be here with us through the game on the 6th. And we would love to celebrate Joe's retirement by hitting 10,000 followers on Facebook. So if you're out there, instead of listening to me, Hop on over to Facebook and give us a like as the drive to 10,000 is underway. I wonder how many they have right now. 9,500. 9,500, okay. People that follow it. They've had well over a million hits on. Well, last, uh, last game we had someone calling in from we Korea? Korea, yes. We had a former player from Korea. It's going to be a pass. Quarterback steps up. That's that was Whitaker. I believe that was. Oh no, no, that's it can't subtle. Be. Ninety-seven. I saw the seven. Tremaine Subtle was the first one on there and treated him rather rudely. Losses back to the thirty-five, so it's going to be fourth and twenty-one. With seven forty to go as the Titans special teams come out. Now, Brandon Buchanan, big Brandon, 6'6", in the middle of their 95. He almost got one earlier from out wide. And that wasn't anything special. It just Brandon's very long and got a clean, clean break. Yeah. See, he's right in the middle where he's going to try and rush through a gap. I they think. only have one personal protector. That does delay a game, I think. 
where that, that one came from. Yep. And it was 7.43 when I, when I said that it was going to be fourth down, so that's 30 seconds right there, 7.13 now on the clock. Titans 21-0. The John Salmon show. He's got all three touchdowns. High snap, tall punter. And there, there was Buchanan right there, Buchanan Banks. He got the ball down at the 42. It looked like he had a kick underneath Buchanan. Yeah, and he just, you know, part of that's being a sophomore and not knowing how to block a kick. You know, you, you, you have to learn not to run to the foot to run to yeah. where the ball's going to be. Yeah, and that's usually about three yards ahead right. of that kicker. Because that kicker's taking a step and a drop. So the Titans will come back with 7.06 to go in the half. Now they have the last two drives for Lorraine have been unsuccessful. A four, uh, you know, a, a stop on downs and a punt. Whitaker is back there with Solomon. That's Williams in motion. Whitaker keeps it straight ahead on a great read on the zone read. Got about three yards, but there was a play right in front of John's path when he got when the ball was pulled. Well, you see that I I don't know who was crashing in, but that's his job to stop John Solomon. You're right. So they'll put it in play at the 45. This game to me, I just have no feel of it. Garfield Heights is huddling and Lorraine is everything at the line and it's just the tempo is all unusual. That's Salman. Salman gets a hole. Salman makes a cut. Salman to the 30. Salman to the 20. Salman to 10. 5. Touchdown! Boy, was that well blocked, Tom. Tell us what happened when we get a look at it. I think there's a flag called, though. Is there? Yes. Well, it's going to be a holding. John skipped through that hole, and there was a big hole. Well, you know, and that could be why. Yeah. Let's see. That was not a hold on 52. It wasn't Chubby Ray, though. no. It had to be in the interior line, yeah. It had yeah. to be in the middle, and that's what taking it from right from the line 10 yards, so it'll be second and 17 instead of extra point. Now it's Osir Kimball as John catches his breath. 619 to go in the half. And with the sophomore quarterback first game, you don't you hate to get behind the sticks. With a 21 point lead, I wouldn't expect to see anything deep. Oh, I'm wrong. He overthrew he overthrew Hyro Williams. And and it was successful in terms of his route, because he was wide open. He just, so, yeah, yeah, I think he came across instead of, I, I think he squared it off instead of enough. Going deep enough. Made the angle the, yeah. obtuse to, for us geometry teachers. You know, you know, but you don't know how the JVs run that play. The JVs might run that play straight down the field rather than across the, yeah. So we're back at the 30. Right, they lost another five there somehow. Was there a, it had to be a penalty somewhere along I the line. I didn't see anything. But it's called. third down, so I don't know how. Kimball gets a straight ahead. Kimball makes a cut. Kimball gets out to the 40. Most of the penalty yards back. It'll be fourth and 13. Now, Lorraine does have an 80. Is that? Maybe I can't read the numbers. I think there's an 87 in there. There is. But we don't we have know it. who he is. We don't have it. That's big Brandon Buchanan Banks back there as the personal protector. Now Whitaker has been out there, but he's not now, and we only have 10. Here comes number 13, Armand Brown, out to be the other personal protector. Oh, here comes another one. We only had nine. Gaines. 14, no. Joseph Gaines. Timeout, Lorraine. We were giving him a spot. We were going to put it in play with nine. 
I think that's a coach's decision. Whitaker is playing quarterback, shouldn't be the personal protector, well, all those kind of things. But yeah, it's, I, you know, we talked before the game. You and I were talking, and this has been one of the problems: is substitutions on special teams. And there's Whitaker over there with Coach Justin Sturgill, who's kind of the personal quarterback coach. Uh, he served in that, played three years, and then served as the quarterback coach at Mount Union uh, yeah. University his senior year. University of Mount Union. <laughs> I don't want to make a moo. I want to umu. So fourth and 13. Johnson is 13 yards deep behind Cameron Sledge. Good snap, snap is good. Kick is away. Good punt. And that's a beauty. That's a boomer. That's going in the end zone. No, it's oh. not. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> Down at. That's a great, great effort play by Torino Allen, number seven. What was the what was the um, 40. line of scrimmage? So let's give him 58 no return on yeah. the punt. And he had some heat on him. Reggie keeps kicking like, look, he's trying to get in on defense. <laughs> yeah, he's going in on defense. Uh, oh, no. Until someone they, caught him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look at, look at the pressure. Allen get rewarded. He's going to stay in a corner on the far side. And it's safety now, 20 foot. Brandon Serrano. Titans start to use some different guys, but that's still subtle, subtle Sledge and Wilson up front. They try to wedge it out of there, and they don't. That is not a safety. They'll yeah. give them forward progress. But they lost about a yard, I'm thinking. Back to the one. I wouldn't want that same play if I were them. Now Reggie's in. <laughs> Reggie Johnson comes in at the near side cornerback, replacing Johnny Geiger for a series, I'm imagining. What if they told him, if you get it down inside the five, we'll let you play defense? <laughs> well. You got to know Reggie. I mean, he's no bigger than a man. I watched him play soccer, though. He's a heck of a player. Yeah. There's a give there. What about a tackle to, that was. Two, and that was finished nicely. Is that 32 on the tackle? 34, Mark. I believe. Well, there is 32 and 14. That was 14, Joseph Gaines, and 32, Avery Martin. And you know what they have in common, Tom? They're underclassmen. They're going to yeah, be back yeah. next year. This is a very young defense. Suttles and Manning and Sledge, the three defensive ends they rotate. Sweep. Sweep's going to get them a first down and a lot more. That was just one more than they could account for around the wide side. The player to be named later, number five. Is that him? Or is that? Yeah, it's five. Yeah, it is. It is. Out of bounds at about the 19. Yeah. First down from there, and crisis averted for Garfield Heights. You got to protect that perimeter, even though they're only on the two yard line, been running yeah. A gaps. Uh, you got to still protect the protect perimeter. And part of it's just different guys on the you know the field as the Titans look to get some young guys some experience in the first half of a varsity game. There's the toss sweep, but on the ground, back inside the five, it's covered at the three. That pretty yeah. much negates that good run. <laughs> They're on the three. They've got to get out to the 29. So that was a loss yeah. of 16. Second and 26. Very, very seldom do you see a sweeping team miss that hand. I mean, right. you practice that all the time. It's timing. No, nope. probably have a young quarterback hasn't done that very often. Now this is number three. Pick. 
going to Here's throw. The the end zone. Makes a fake. Clears the end zone. Gets it off. Off the hands of a receiver. Incomplete. That was intended for 13, Chad Evans. And Chad Evans, he was behind the defender. If he could have held on to that, he'd have picked up the first down, I think. Who's this that gets a chase on him? 11. Diaz, yeah. 16. 16, yes. Ooh. Okay, gets under it. And he was behind Noah, or uh, Johnny Martin. Geiger. Geiger. So now yeah. it is third and 16. You're down 21 nothing on the road, third and 16 with the young yeah. quarterback in and a defense hungry for a score. Yeah, I would spread that defense out a little bit because I think they're going to try to go wide and not up the middle. They're going to throw. And here come, oh, like he was shot out of a cannon on the run, incomplete. I think he could have ran. It, well, I don't know that another. he got out to the 30. No, nah, but he would have got probably into the 20s. Yep. Yeah. So now it's fourth down on the three. You're going to kick out of your own end zone. And that's all about the bad snap. Jeremiah Lopez came uncovered and made him make up his mind a little early. Pass was off the hands of number 10, Cam Smith. Yeah, this is always a tough situation. Well, because it's short. I mean, he's yeah. 10 yards behind the line. Hunter is usually like to be 13 yards and not 10. Kick is away. Kick is low. Kick is short. Kick bounces at the 26. Backs up inside the 25. Ooh. There's a flag down on the goal line. It has to. Looks like it's on Lorraine, the way the hand's coming yeah. out. The LEL has some of the best conversations <laughs> yeah. as officials in yeah. Ohio. They're always. That's not a compliment you're giving them. <laughs> there's always two or three of them together. Holding. Holding. I decline it. Uh, uh, yeah, you're not going to take that. <laughs> so the yeah. Titans will take over on the 24 after the short punt. And they've capitalized on the short field a couple times. Oh, they're going to march it from there. They're going to start from the 14, Tom. As, oh, do you get, is that one of those things where you can? That's what he, I'm sure Coach Creel said, can I take it after the punt? And obviously they said yes. So the Titans will scrimmage from the 14. Give straight ahead, Salmon. Salmon looks for a room, nice tackle there. That's, that's how you teach it. That was our friend number five, Tom. Yeah, well, we don't have anyone on the field that could ask. A name. Uh, no. And I haven't heard our announcer, Steve Cawthon, use a name. Yeah. 2.13 to go, clock ticking. Lorraine in no kind of hurry with a 21-point lead. Straight ahead again, Salmon, and that's going to lose yardage. Back to the 13. So it'll be third and 10. Here's a chance for a little post pattern. There's no safety in there. Buchanan is up there. There it is. You called it, Tom. That was pitch and catch. Oh, that, look at this. Oh, it was just a clean block, I guess. Was just a great block by <laughs> Shane Ramey Rowland. Took his man so far <laughs> wide and to the turf that it looked like it. So a minute 20 left in the half. Titans again on a board. 
13 yard pass, Whitaker to Buchanan. That's a, that's a strike yep. at any level. Reggie in for the attempt. Boy, did you call that before the uh, coach did? Reggie spins it up, spins it through. And just like that, it's 28-0. Lorraine with a minute 20 to go in the half. Now, you got to feel good, but you want to make sure you, you close out the half the right idea. Yeah, I would get a stop here. Probably have to run a series or two in the third uh, quarter. But uh, I wouldn't want to see John Solomon get beat up. Right. Well, the way you're blocking for him, he hasn't been. Yeah. yeah. These last two uh, weren't, no, weren't they, much. No, that wasn't well. well. Now, I don't know who is the younger, besides Cairo, who's the younger? Wide receivers? No, no. Um, running backs. The backup? Well, I think Cairo would be their third guy. Yeah. Cairo. Uh, oh, he's a running back, too, Cairo is? Wait, remember last year, the last game of the season, when John got hurt against Shaw? Yeah. Cairo had 140 yards oh, in I didn't the second know that, uh, half. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And that was kind of done on the fly. Reggie Johnson's going to earn his letter tonight, huh? Well, this is, he's going to see how deep he can get it now. Like, he did have one punt that went uh, out of bounds around the 12 or something like that. I mean, Not tonight. stopped about the 12. Oh, yeah, he had one rolled dead about the 12, and they returned it only to the 17. It's hard to tell which way the wind is actually blowing down there from the flag. Reggie kicks it away. It's a short spinning kick. Going to hit at about the 16. Picked up there. And that is nice Williams, tackle. Damarian Williams. And that was our friend Brandon Buchanan Banks that delivered the first hit, I believe. See, Gaines was one of the last okay. ones getting up, but I don't know if he made the tackle or Terreno not. Terreno Allen getting some camera time. So they'll spot it at the 25. So with a four touchdown lead, we'll see some of the younger guys try to finish out the half. Demias Gaines, the 10th grader, number 20 in at linebacker. Next to Armand Brown. Now Gaines come, that's. Gonna throw, wanting to throw, now running for his life. Loads over the middle, intercepted. Intercepted by Johnny Geiger. Johnny Geiger back inside the 25. Well. And that just was an overthrow that hit Geiger yeah. between the ones. And he was just playing center field, and that's what you do when you're the free safety. Right. Well done. And so the Titans take over again inside the, well, just inside the 20. And you mentioned that young secondary, and he was one of them. Yep. Nice range, it's, you know, six foot. And Sledge with the pressure chased him out of the pocket and just no chance for the yeah. wide receiver. And he didn't have to do anything but catch it, Geiger. Whitaker has, is that John or? That's that John's back there. Not anymore, he's got the ball. John Salmon, five times to the house. Four times, he got Four. one called back. Had one called back. Yeah. That's their second one play drive. Solomon from 20 yards. Well, a hat trick is three touchdowns. What's four touchdowns called? Well, I know that <laughs> if you strike out in baseball four times, they call it the golden sombrero. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing I can think of. <laughs> now 
Hey, which gives me a chance. I want to congratulate Coach Andrew Knowles and the Lorraine Lady Titans soccer team who won their first ever conference championship last night with a 7-0 win right here over Shaw. And well, that's a fun group to watch. Uh, Bailey Gomez, a little senior that can't be five foot tall, and I'll, she's not 100 pounds with her book bag on. Uh, scored four times last night, nice. which is the fifth consecutive game she has a hat has had a hat trick, and she leads the conference in scoring now with 19 goals in conference games. A senior? So, yes. Yeah. But like I said, they they have some up. If anyone's out there listening, they have some up and coming soccer players in the biddy programs. I and, hope and, those people make it into the ninth grade and get a well chance into to the play. middle. Let's go to the middle school and, and we're trying to run middle school yeah, soccer. Yeah. So because the biddies are co-ed. And so is the middle school. So they get some girls playing with the boys, and they're doing a nice job. Reggie Johnson. Kickoff number five. So he has And what this does, assuming that the next 57 seconds run out, is we'll start the second half with a running clock. And you don't want anybody to miss out on playing time, but you're also a little bit banged up and shorthanded, mm -hmm. as you know, as you mentioned. Reggie kind of punches that one down to the 10, spins, bounce, kicked around at the 10, picked up by Williams. Williams again hit inside the 20, gets it out across the 20. You know, these guys are starting to taste a little bit of blood in the water. Well. There was probably 10 blue shirts on that, all except for Reggie Johnson. Yeah. As the kicker, he was back there at safety. And Everybody was down there but Russell Creel, and he was back picking up the tee. <laughs> How old is Russell? I believe he's 9 or 10. And he just loves coming to the games and practices with his dad. Down here on the track. So they button it up pretty tight, single wide receiver. If they do anything more than Sweet hand left. it off, yeah. uh, that's what I would have done right there. Get the clock ticking. Lorraine's not going to call timeout. No. You've only got one. I think it's time to regroup if you're Garfield Heights. So I think one more snap will do it. Bulldogs quickly to the line, looking over. They're in no hurry. I think if they could let it run out, I think everybody would be happy. The only is that guy at the 42-yard line looking at his watch. Nah, he's not going to make it okay, because he's happy. Seconds. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the end of two at the George. Yeah. Lorraine, 35, Garfield Heights, nothing. Back with the high school band after this timeout. Hey students, this is Cleveland Browns offensive lineman Wyatt Teller. September is Attendance Awareness Month. Did you know that missing school can significantly decrease your chances of graduating high school? Stay in the game by showing up to school on time and ready to learn. The Browns are always behind you. Inspiring city and campus. Inspiring people. Inspiring creativity. Inspiring hands-on learning. Inspiring global experiences. Inspiring traditions. Be a Buckeye. Inspire. We make Marines who overpower the desire to quit 
with the perseverance to prevail, not for glory, but for honor, for a code that isn't written or spoken, but lived. It's what we do. It's who we are. It's the battle cry of our fighting spirit. Battles won. See all the battles Marines fight to win at Marines.com. Hey students, this is Cleveland Browns tight end Harrison Bryant. Forming good habits helps you now and in the future. Get to school every day and on time and ready to learn. Let's stay committed, stay focused, and stay in the game. Ohio State is saving lives every day. This is Ohio State. We're the economic engine of the state. A major employer. Over 60,000 students. We're on the forefront of cancer research. An educational core of Ohio. Impacting tens of thousands daily. Our alumni organization is nearly half a million worldwide. This is Ohio State. State. This is Ohio State. Ohio State. State. This is the Ohio State University. Every year, the Salvation Army serves nearly 30 million people in need. That's one person every second. So by the time you've finished watching this, 30 more lives will have been changed for good. All thanks to your donations. Thank you.
and gentlemen, give it up one the Lorraine High School Titans Marching Band. Now everybody give it up for the Lorraine High Seniors. Two, four. Hey students, this is Cleveland Browns offensive lineman Wyatt Teller. September is Attendance Awareness Month. Did you know that missing school can significantly decrease your chances of graduating high school? Stay in the game by showing up to school on time and ready to learn. The Browns are always behind you. Inspiring city and campus. Inspiring people. Inspiring creativity. Inspiring hands-on learning. Inspiring global experiences. Inspiring traditions. Be a Buckeye. Inspire. We make Marines who overpower the desire to quit with the perseverance to prevail, not for glory, but for honor, for a code that isn't written or spoken, but lived. It's what we do. It's who we are. It's the battle cry of our fighting spirit. Battles won. See all the battles Marines fight to win at Marines.com. Hey students, this is Cleveland Browns tight end Harrison Bryant. Forming good habits helps you now and in the future. Get to school every day and on time and ready to learn. Let's stay committed, stay focused, and stay in the game. Ohio State is saving lives every day. This is Ohio State. We're the economic engine of the state. A major employer. Over 60,000 students. We're on the forefront of cancer research. An educational core of Ohio. Impacting tens of thousands daily. Our alumni organization is nearly half a million worldwide. This is Ohio State. This is Ohio State. Ohio State. Ohio State. This is the Ohio State University.
Back here at George Daniel, ready to for third quarter. How about that band? How good did they sound? And Reggie Johnson again ready to kick off. The clock will start here, and it will keep running. 35 nothing. Titans on top. Five, uh, five touchdowns, four by John Salmon and a Whitaker to Buchanan touchdown pass on a slant. And it's been all the rain. Garfield Heights has had trouble hanging on to just lots of mistakes. Including an interception that led to the last touchdown. Johnson sidewinds it down to about the eight yard line. This is Williams. Williams goes up the sideline that time and gets out to about the 30. Nice tackle there. Beautiful, clean tackle. That was Terreno Allen, number seven again. You know, Tom, you start to recognize some names when you've been around as long as you and I. I had Terreno Allen's father. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I still get a lot of that. Uh, Hey, we got some remember wins. scores here. Yeah. Avon Lakes 20 to 13 over Amherst in the third quarter. That's a surprise, actually. Amherst staying with them. And Avon 24 10 over Olmstead Falls. Good. Do around. Yeah. No, no. Not that window. Straight no, back and passing. Knocked up in the air and picked. That was a heck of a play. There was some, that was just a really athletic play by Avery Martin. You'll get a chance to see it as you were directing traffic. Here's the replay. It's going to be a quick out, two steps, fire. Look at that. And then <laughs> bats it to himself. And just like that, the Titans will take over on the 32-yard line. Now, because of the running clock and the change of possession, we're already down 10 and a half minutes. You know, that one play has taken a minute and a half off the clock thus far. Now we're going to have to get some names and numbers. That still looks like it's Whitaker at quarterback. But it looks like Herman That's, is the That tailback. is Martise Herman. Wow. Senior. Getting a chance. That's good. He's given straight ahead. Not much there, but he's bulls. Look at him go. Down almost to the 25. And that was all yak. He's After, like the speedster, and he's running like a fullback. Right. He got he got six yards out of a play that he was hit at the line of scrimmage, I think. There's the contact, and he <laughs> he drags Phillips away. So second and four. And if you called it second and three, it wouldn't offend me. Whitaker, same play, other side. Gets spun around, still keeping the feet driving down. Look at this. He's got a first down, Tom. I think that's just youthful enthusiasm, even though he's still a senior. Right. He is a senior, isn't he? Youth Football-wise, it's youthful. Yeah, yeah. Time out. You think they have to measure? Oh, yeah, we've got an, in, no, we've got an injured okay. Titan. See, that hit. looks like it's Julius Manning holding his knee. You hate to see it. Hate yep. to see it. And that's the only, about the only time it'll stop. Here comes Coach Creel running out. It's also an injured Garfield Heights player. Your Lorraine School's athletic trainer, Tracy Menges, works closely with Cleveland Clinic sports medicine specialists to provide your student athlete with the best treatment and prevention of sports injuries. And there comes Tracy across the field. Visit clevelandclinic.org slash sports medicine to learn more. Cleveland Clinic Sports Medicine, caring for pro athletes, active individuals, your student athlete, and you. And this is, you know, as you're trying to finish off what should be a comfortable win, this is not how you want the evening to go. Some other scores of interest, and these, some of these are early as, and some of them are. Sean Bedford are still tied at zero in the first quarter, but we know they're not in the first quarter. Bria Mid Park all over Midview, 23 to nothing. Uh, Elyria Catholic and Bay tie, were tied at seven in the first quarter. I heard uh, EC kicked a field goal at the very, very end of that second quarter, and they were up, they were up 10 7 at halftime. Okay. Firelands 18 7 over Brookside in the third. Uh, 
Clearview people might be interested in a score if we have a clear view. I am view. looking. Um, we don't have any scores from Korea if you're listening, Aaron Huff. <laughs> Cleveland Heights all over Strongsville, 27 nothing. Clearview 41-6 over Wellington in the third. Columbia over Oberlin, 34 to nothing. Um, North Ridgeville, 7-3 over Elyria before the half. This is not a good sign, the way they're bringing big, the big fella off the field. Uh, let's see. I'm still looking here as we go. Officials blow the whistle, and we're ready to resume action. Teams will be jogging back out. Lorraine's winning 35 nothing over Garfield Heights. That's a good one to hear. Yeah, I always like saying that. Warrensville Heights 14-8 over Maple. Wow. In the second. That's a shocker. Medina 35 nothing over Euclid in the third. Some of these are games I'm interested in and no one else. Rocky River all over North Olmsted 28 nothing. Martise Herman and Whitaker are back out in the backfield for Lorraine. There's motion from our player to be named later, number 87. They're gonna, Herman's going to follow him, and he got hit at the line and taken back that time. He's going to lose yards, lose a yard, I think, when it's all said and done. I'd like to see a little read option now. They ran him three straight times, four straight times. Right. And now it's time for that little read option. Sandusky 20 to 13 over Tiffin Columbian as Lorraine comes back to the line. Toledo Central Catholic 14 nothing over St. Ignatius. And my how they have fallen. Chuck Kyle retired. <laughs> yeah. And Drew Pasteur has him to finish one and nine. He tried the jet sweep and Hyro gets snowed under. That didn't have a good mesh point, but was yeah. doomed anyway. What we like to start seeing is some of the teams that Lorraine has beaten already to start winning. Right. That will help them at second-level points. Well, Brush is winning. That's a good one. Yep. And Leary was losing, though, I heard right. you say, so that was a bad one. I didn't see a Willoughby South score. And I didn't see a Firestone score. Third down and 14 for the Titans. I see Buchanan out here with a single coverage and no now, safety. That same, in the game. that same pass is open right there. It is. Same, and there, <laughs> same touchdown. touchdown <laughs> Buchanan to, to the house. Yeah, sometimes you just spot those kind of things and yeah. you know it's going to work. 720. That's the second touchdown pass, Whitaker to. Buchanan. This one, 25 yards. And here comes Reggie again, along with his partner, Jeremiah Lopez, the holder. Well, the Titans have had trouble getting to 11 here. I was going to say, you're going to stop our run and make us pass. And then. <laughs> a little high, but the kick that was is a good. Great, great hold. Yeah. By Jeremiah Lopez, yeah. and Reggie's five for, let's make him six, six for six. six. For six. You know, I coach secondary long enough that you have to have that single coverage. You have to play inside the yes. man to take away the post. Well, you've got to make the quarterback go through you. And you've got to force him to throw the fade, which yeah. is a lot harder pass to complete than the post. Yeah, we saw that about the same time. You know a lot more about it than I do, but it was pretty clear that there was – going to be a problem if Lorraine <laughs> decided to throw it over the middle. And there's Reggie. Now, I can see the coach is now counting out to make sure they have 11, which is good because yep. there are going to be some substitutions in there. Send them out. And by the way, we, we ran three plays and Garfield Heights has run one there's 640 to go in the yeah, third quarter. Yeah, yeah. So. What was the Drew Pasteur prediction here? I didn't I don't remember. It was a win by 20 something, I think. I believe so. 25 and it's 42.
Reggie Johnson once again to put in step into football. And away we go. Short spinning kick up at the 30, taken by the up back. That is 17, Bryce Young, and he's out near the 50. Best starting position in a while for Garfield Heights. Change of possession, clock stops. Clock stops, stops, and as soon as yeah. they spot it, he should be going to wind it. I see a new defensive line in for the Titans, yep, which is good. Buchanan Banks. Uh, 67, Lamar Miller is a sophomore at this end. Did not get the man in the middle. Lots of new faces. Manny Rosario out here on the short corner coming up to try to turn this in and does a nice job of it, taking on the blocker till his friends could get there. That, J- yeah, that's Jemias what, yeah. gains 20. That's what you're supposed to do, force it back into the middle where the action's at. And so it's a yeah. short gain, two yards. And you'll see 15 come up here. He's got the blocker. He's engaged, but he gets a hand on the ball carry, and Gaines gets their first one on the spot along with Joey Hall, and they make the play. There's a sweep again. That's the QB. He's going to have a first down. That is Pickett, number three. That was a new one. That's the first time he ran the ball. Yes, it is. And they spot him down to the 40. Tom, I think this is their deepest penetration. It might be because they've made some mistakes. uh, Yeah. In the first half when they got that this was, far. Th- yeah. That was a good run by their QB. Now, he should have gone out of the game because his helmet came off. And it appears that he did. Yeah, because they have a number 12 in there now. Yeah, there's just there was 13 of them in the huddle. And that's the call. Now, that might buy their QB back in the game. I'm not sure. I don't know. And that was 11 Anneton, the starting quarterback, the the young man who started tonight, going to take that snap and still is. He's a freshman. And he's been the more successful of the two passers. Well, they had that little short passing game going early. Right. And then a, then a snap went over his yeah. head, and the rank recovered on the five, and the wheels kind of came off. I think from that, there. that was the turning point right there. Yeah, I do, there. too. Yeah, I mean, that, that was, was an early, early turning point. So that's going to move the chains once again there. No, not yet. No? Oh, no, no. He, he just made the first stick. Okay. My bad. I saw the box moving and <laughs> thought they were moving the chains with it. So it'll be second down and eight. That's how close they were to making it, Jay. I have a long story about Admiral King. Oh, Barry, Bill, Barry Buck and Bill Providence. <laughs> <Yep. laughs> and to that official's credit, he measured the football. <laughs> and and it, well, this that's Pickett's not a Anna, nice that's little Pickett, runner. And he's going to score. Yes, he is. I do believe Pickett gets into the end zone from 45 yards out with 3.05 to go in the third quarter. That's a really nice 45-yard run. And he, you know, you well, and he cuts it back here because it was turned in on a tackle. (laughs) Yeah, there was a little bit of a hold there. I Uh, I hate to give advice to players, but you shouldn't wear pink gloves if you're going to hold somebody. Yeah, not like that. (laughs) 45 yards. So they'll go for two. This is once again. Time out to figure out what play they're going to run for the extra point. (laughs) 
So there's 2.16 to go in the third quarter. Both teams have gotten in the end zone. And I can remind you about the Jim Popeil Foundation annual fundraiser. Sunday, October 29th. It's during the Browns and Seattle game on TV. It's at the Shipyards on the east side of Lorraine. $25 is the donation. Food and soda included. There'll be raffles, boards and things. Um, It's all an effort to raise money for for the Booster Club to give out scholarship to Lorraine graduating athletes. Pickett, all set to go, takes the snap. He's going to follow and throw it over the middle, and that's complete for the two. Now, what that does, though, it takes the way the run No, it doesn't because we scored this half, too. Okay. Okay. So that is to number 10, Cam Smith, 42 to 8. Now, that takes it down to 34. But it's 30. Oh, 30, not 35? No, it's 30. Okay. I thought it was 35. And that's nicely That's nicely run. And he gets it over. The defender was in the right position. He just got it over number 19, Ray Smith. So Garfield Heights will kick off for the second time tonight. They kicked off to open the game. Now, I assume Lorraine's JVs are going to play Garfield at Garfield tomorrow morning. That's what I was told. <clears throat> You know, I, I don't know. I mentioned it off the air. Garfield only has two scheduled home games. One of them was last week against East Lake North. And the other one, I believe, is next week against Warrensville. The other eight are all on the road. They were looking for Jabron Smith, a number 10, another senior that doesn't get much action to get in and be on the kickoff return team. High row Williams is going to go deep. A little concerned here about Osir Kimball. We haven't seen him in quite a while. I see him down there with his helmet on, directing traffic on about the 35-yard line. It maybe just coaches said our yeah our ones have had enough. Farley to kick. Farley spins it down the middle of the field. Going to bounce back to Hiro at about the 17. Picks it up on a hop and gets out to the 24. Good coverage, and you got to come up and catch the ball. Yeah, let it bounce, let it bounce a little bit. You're giving that uh, front line a lot more time to get down there. That's and, what, and yeah. I mean, one of the up men actually could have made a play on that. Yeah, I think they assume that that ball is supposed to go back to right. uh, Hiram. So we're going to spot it on the 25. It'll be first and 10. Looks like Lamar Miller, a sophomore, is in at center. This is an all-new offensive line, 54, Ramel Martin, I see. I'll try and get some names for you of these young guys. This is a freshman quarterback, 27, Leonard McCall, taking the snap and handing it off and getting out of the way. And that was a good move as that was going nowhere. Now, you want to get your... JV's some reps at the varsity level, but Manny Rosario was looking for a block. Any block. Yes. They lost four. And this is when, as Garfield Heights, you can tee off because you don't think Lorraine's going to pass up 34 points. 35 seconds to go in the third quarter. This is probably the last play of the quarter. We have not hit double figures this quarter in number of plays. Give straight ahead. Well, he picked up the he loss. Picked up the loss and about two more. That must have been. Oh, yeah. This that was be the Re- last play. Rosario again, and that'll do it. Lorraine jogs off with a 42 to 8 lead. We'll be back with fourth quarter action after this timeout. Every year, the Salvation Army serves nearly 30 million people in need. That's one person every second. 
So by the time you've finished watching this, 30 more lives will have been changed for good. All thanks to your donations. Thank you. Hey students, this is the Cleveland Browns linebacker Jeremiah Ousu Kormor. Make sure you start off school this year on the right foot by showing up every day on time and ready to learn. Let's stay committed, let's stay focused, and let's stay in the game. Titans punt unit will come on. There's a whistle, and we've got an injured Garfield Heights Bulldog. And the clock will stop for that with 11.32 to go. It's been a special night here at George Daniel for a number of reasons. Senior band night was one of them. It was nice to see the recognition for the seniors. And the second thing... Um, if you're in the market, well, we'd like to thank our Northeast Ohio Buick GMC dealers and Joyce Buick GMC for supporting uh, Lorraine High School athletics this year. Whether you're looking for a G new GMC truck or used Buick SUV, drop in at Joyce Buick GMC. Check out their inventory for a wide range of new and pre-owned vehicles. Go Titans! And the Joyce <laughs> Buick was here tonight with one of their beautiful new pickup trucks on display, passing out really nice mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lorraine High Titan t-shirt. Titans on the front, Joyce Buick on the back. And then also had the big check out to present to Brian Corey. And when that comes out, it's always a good thing from a donation standpoint. And that is money that Lorraine dedicates Yay. to uniforms for their youth programs. Good cause. Yes. Very good cause. You know, the, the big guys have the boosters behind them and a lot of the district. But when it comes to some of the youth programs, and I think primarily wrestling and basketball are the youth programs, I think, that Mr. Corey said were going to serve this well. Reggie waiting for the snap. Down to 11 minutes. He got that off without getting it blocked, and I don't know how. Come up, picked up. On the run across the 50, down inside the 40. Yeah. I'll tell you what, there was some heat on that kick. And there's a flag. That's that's on Sportsman Life somewhere. I see in Sledge a... being led off by his teammates there. I don't know whether he hit or got hit. Uh, you know, that's a dangerous way he picked that ball up. But oh, like my he, gosh, because yeah. he did boot it. A, personal foul on Lorraine. Yeah. So you don't want to get any kind of those kind of actions out here. You, know, yep. you can't lose a player for an injury or unsportsmanlike and get. You can't. Yeah. The uh, Menor Cardinals, the team that was directly in front of Lorraine in the playoff standings here. See, see it booted around for a couple yards there before he yes, got he it. Yes, he did. And that's Sledge on the bottom, and somebody landed on him. And then, I don't know, it had to be something said in there. Yeah. So, all the way down inside the 25, 10 and a half to go. And now if Garfield Heights scores, it's going to stop that running clock. Turn and a give straight ahead. And there's a form tackle right in the hole. Boy, that was a pretty hit. 20... I didn't see it. Looks like 28, and I don't see a 28 on the roster. It might be Jemias Gaines, 20, but tight formation give on the near side sweep. Going to 
be hit and gain only a couple down to uh, about the 20-yard line. See, that's gang tackling, but there was nothing dirty in there. You, I mean, right. you had a lot of blue shirts on him, but, uh, you know, after it's up, you help him up and wait for the next play. As we look for scores, Tom, Avon was up 31-10 over Olmstead Falls at the half. So, looks like yeah. that Eagle juggernaut will continue on. Yeah. You know, those first yeah. three games that they played, an out-of-state team, Canton, McKinley, <laughs> and Glenville. Yeah. 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 Hello. And to go through that undefeated. QB Pickett wants to throw. Pickett to the end zone over everybody. But he, he has a nice arm. He has a quick foot uh, and only a sophomore. Uh, yes. He, he's, he, not the, he's not the freshman, is he? He's the No, he's the, the sophomore. sophomore. So it'll come back. It's fourth down at the 19-yard line, call it. And they need to get to... Looks like just inside the 15. They're in no hurry. We're down to 8 minutes and 20 seconds. <clears throat> I predict another run by number three because he did a nice little job. Well, you've got to think they're going to Oh, you're going to throw it. Wants to throw it anyhow. No, you're right, Tom. First down and more. Nice Ankle tackle there. That looked like it was Jabron Smith, number 10. But the first down is picked yeah. up. And it looks like it might be first and – is it first and goal? I can't tell if that ball's touching or not. It is. The only way you can tell is if the guys on the sticks put it down. <laughs> he landed right on the 10-yard line, so it's first and goal. And I consider this the hardest spot to have a first down on the field. Right there at the very edge of the 10-yard line. Because you're, you're yeah. you know, you, ha you don't have any space to work, but you've got to go the full 10. Straight back and a nice fake, and he floats it out. And that's going to be a touchdown pass. Nice pitch and catch to, was that Urban, the freshman quarterback? Two. Is that I, two? I, two or five. I, can't. I hope it's no, not. No, six. Okay, I'll, number six, yep. Caleb Urban, who yeah. started the game as the running back, and he was back there then, and he gets a 10-yard catch. So 42 to 14, and they look for the two once again. Pickett did a nice job floating that ball out over the defender. I formation. Gives straight ahead to the up back, and he gets in for the two. So 42 to 16. And as quick as that first quarter yeah. and a half goes, the next 650 will be played. Normal clock and, time. Unless Lorraine were to score again. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think Lorraine will then uh, worry about that and start substituting oh, I, I number think, ones. I, don't I think, think you it, like getting some kids some yeah, reps. Exactly. And, and you just like to hope your seconds do a little better job of yeah, that, that, stopping. That, That's what you hope. So... All set to kick it off is Farley, number 21. He's waiting for an 11th man and a football. As a matter of fact, timeout Garfield Heights. Was there a penalty that they're... They're going the wrong way. Direction. <laughs> I didn't see that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they were, go they were lined up wrong. Instead of... Uh, Hiro uh, Williams, I think they have a uh, substitute in there. Allen is That's back. That's Terreno Allen. Man. Yeah. JV run, one of the JV running backs. I think this is pretty much the JV kickoff return team. 
And I don't rec I mean I don't recognize a number from the first half of this game on the field. So we'll see what they can do. And you know, there's two ways that you get your young kids some repetition in a varsity game. And it's always better to be on the big number. <laughs> yeah. Farley, toe into ball, and I mean that literally, to one of the up men at the 25-yard line. Twets, we don't have that number, 28 on our roster, unfortunately. But he got ahead out over the 30 to about the 32. I'd like to see, though, uh, at least a first oh, down. 20, 25. You know that's 29. 29. Adrian Wright, a ninth grader, who took that ball. I am sorry about that. And we do have number 28. John's wearing 28 tonight. Mm -hmm. But that wasn't John. John is down at the other end without his shoulder pads on, I think. Some of those big guys, that's Isaiah Ray and Shane Ramey rolling down there to the left of us on the sideline, 50 yards away and just kind of spectating. Straight ahead, bulldog to the ground. Was that Williams Jones? What number was that, Tom? I think it was 38. Oh, he's a second column. Yeah, Day-Day Jones, huh? And they have McCall. Is he a freshman He's also? He's a freshman quarterback. Jones is a freshman running back. But look at they got 11 men in the box. Well, <laughs> if you break it, yeah, you got to break it, though. Yeah. yeah. Well, it, Lorraine had 10. The chances of breaking it is going to be hard against that. You know, I'm looking down here on the sidelines. At the what you know, some of the linemen. There's Tyler Fogo and Evan Rikovic walking down the other end. Luke Wilson down there, along with Ramey Rowland, and talking to Coach Justin Sturgill. What a good feeling for these guys to come and win back-to-back -back games at home. And Tom, they're five and one, which is more wins than the last three seasons. That was faded from an early. And yeah. that was 38 once again, Day-Day Jones. And so on fourth and nine, the Titans punt team will come out. You know who I didn't see go out there is Reggie Johnson. That's going to be J.L. Diaz is going to be, punt, be the punter. Okay. They need one more for that personal protecting wall. Here he comes, and it's Ray Smith. And we don't want to blame Ray because he was just the closest guy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, here, comes here, comes the, here comes the guy that should have been out there, I think. Armand Brown forgot he was still in the game on the punt team. Bad snap picked up nicely by Diaz. Gets it away. Back to the, visit, to the far side 40, but bringing it back nicely across the 50. That's 24, Cam Johnson. Was that Lorraine's 24 yeah. that met him? I didn't see it. I was Brandon looking. Serrano, I think. Yeah. So they'll spot that right at the 45-yard line. And Garfield Heights is nice play by Diaz to pick that ball up on a roll. And we'll, we'll get a number here. No, that wasn't. 24. It's 10. 10. Number 10, Jabron Smith made that hit, and it was a good hit on the sideline. Why doesn't you want to say, why don't they clear their bench? Well, that's going to be an illegal substitution yet again. Yeah, you, they had 12 in the formation that time. As you see, number four. Uh, Phillips jog off after the penalty. Why don't they clear the bench? Well, they're playing their sophomore quarterback. They started a freshman quarterback. And there's a lot of ninth graders out there in blue shirts. Yeah. 
toss sweep. 20 is DeMontre Martin, a sophomore. Someone came up from the secondary and put a nice that tackle. That was a good hit. I think that was our buddy, number 38, Day Day Jones. Said, if you're going to hit me like that on <laughs> offense, I'm going to get you back. Watch him come up like a, yeah. a shot. That's nice form. Yes, it was. Yep. Because he not only hit with the shoulder, but he wrapped. You know, too many times on Saturdays yeah. and Sundays anymore. That was a nice hit right there up the middle by another one of the young fellas. Is that 20, 26, 28? I think it's. Well, that takes them back to the 20. sticks. That's 20. That is Jamarius Gaines with another nice hit. And one thing I will tell you about Lorraine High's team at all three levels, they'll come up and hit you. Yeah, that's what you said. Yeah. Lorraine always had that reputation. But it took a while to get it back after, yeah. you know, I think the it was COVID, COVID year. year. Right. Yeah, it's hard to come back after a year you're off. Yeah. Still pick it. Is the trigger man. That was a fully loaded pistol. And tripped up. Tyree Morales, a freshman, come up and made the play. Just got enough of the ankle of Pickett to bring him down. It's fourth and ten. Three minutes to go in the ball game. Clock running. I would assume they're going to go for it. Oh, uh, some more young guys in 41. Dane Bednarik, a sophomore. Oh, yeah, Dane. 5-3. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Dane talked to me at an eighth grade game. And he said, you remember, you know, my, my, my uncle, Benaric was the uh, Chuck Benaric from yeah. the Eagles. That's his great nephew. Great or, nephew. Okay, boy, that's a few. There's a bad snap. It's going to be Lorraine's There's ball on their side of the 50. Joey Hall got there quick and angry and covered that up. So Lorraine holds on downs. And, yeah. Yeah, Dane came up to me. And made sure I knew that so I could tell the story at the okay. eighth grade game. Okay. So he must be a sophomore now, not a freshman? I believe he is. Yeah. They lift, list him at 5'3", 160. I know they're accurate on the 5'3". I, I don't think, know about the 160. I think the 160 <laughs> might be a little bit. Maybe they, maybe they weighed him with his pads on. <laughs> For those of you that are wondering what we're talking about. Chuck Bednarik is a pro football Hall of Famer from the Philadelphia Eagles of the late 50s and early 60s. And he played Both. 60 minutes yeah. in a championship game against the Giants. That was Canadian-like football as Lorraine had a player coming off the sidelines running on, now running off. He thought he should have been out there. Yeah. yeah he's now he's been. coming back out from the should have been there. So Chuck Bednarik, in, in one of his claim to fame, there's a very, very famous NFL picture from the early 60s. Chuck Bednarik wore number 60 for the Eagles, and he put a hit on Frank Gifford and knocked him out <laughs> yeah. cold. And not recognizing that, Bednarik was standing over him. And if you saw the picture today without knowing what's going on, you'd see he was taunting him. But <laughs> yeah. yeah, poor Frank Gifford looked like he was really beat too. Yeah. Oh my goodness! And that was that was the end of Frank Gifford, the running back. That became Frank B Gifford, the wide receiver. After that, he knocked him out of a position. So law, big loss there. Second and eighteen for Lorraine, the Lorraine freshman. Leonard McCall is taking the snaps. Day Day Jones still back at halfback. And you know what? He keeps taking the ball and they keep knocking him down. You know, I'm looking at the uh, some of the players' numbers on the field for Garfield Heights. And they still got some juniors and seniors out there, and that's fine. You have to coach your team. And uh, Lorraine right now with pretty much the freshman offense. Not totally, but Lamar Miller, the center, is a sophomore. Brandon 
Buchanan Banks, the big fella, is the tight end on this side. He's a sophomore. Adrian Wright, the wide receiver out here, is a sophomore. 54 was a lineman over there, Martin. Yeah, Mermel Martin's a sophomore. There's a timeout. Lorraine, Coach Creel let the 25-second clock run down and just to take a timeout so they didn't get a penalty. I don't think he's going to let them try and throw it. At least I hope he doesn't. No. Because if they run it, it'll take another 30 seconds off the clock. And they would still have to kick it. And just see if this freshman team can get a punt off. That's uh, yeah. something Tom. you have to do. It's football. you got to play football. Here it is. Third quarter score. Toledo Central Catholic 21. St. Ignatius nothing. Whoa. Whoa. They missed Chico <laughs> Kyle. Wow. Is Lorraine ahead of them in the uh, They are. They are well the ahead of them. Okay. Oh, the, yeah. You know, it's interesting. A couple of years ago when Lorraine made the playoffs with a 1-9 and nine record winning the last game of the season, how could a team with no wins win? There are five teams without a win in our region. I see that. And three of them will make the playoffs. This young fella, he won't go down. That's no. Let's give Day-Day Day Jones, Jones credit for a hard run. Now 50 seconds left. Let's, let's see when they spot it. Right now, there's the 25 second, 30 second clock starts at 38 seconds. The, the crew with the flags has had a workout tonight, Tom, running back and forth. You know, unusual groups. This is a this is a group that's had trouble getting to 11. Clocks down under 15 seconds. They are missing a line. Garfield there. Heights is lined up to shake hands. They're coming off. They're sending the signal that they're ready to be done. Yeah. Let's hope that it gets red. And it did. It and did. that's it's a class fine. move by both teams. Yep. Let it be over. So this one belongs to Lorraine. 42 for the uh, homestanding Titans. 16 for Garfield Heights. Lorraine goes to 5-1 and one on the year. Garfield Heights now 3-3. Three and three. And we'll be rooting for them the rest of the we way out. We will be, yes. Some computer points. The thing is, they're going to be playing teams that we'll be playing also. As well, yes. So, yeah, now we're into the league. So, uh, as the two teams shake hands, what do we got? We got a highlight package? It's up to you. Okay, Joe Box says we got highlights, Tom. Let's see what Let's we got. Let's see what we got. It's more interesting than watching guys <laughs> shake hands and listening to us. That's David Whitaker, and that's John Salmon. And there was a theme early on. John Salmon to the house. First touchdown, 544 left in the first quarter. Titans go up 7-0. Next time the Titans get the oh, that's the extra point by Reggie. Nice catch of the snap and a spot. That was his only kick that went kind of sideways. Well, it was touched. I don't I, know if you yeah. saw that. Oh, official. I didn't see. Okay. After that, every other kick was just a perfect spot, uh, extra point kick. There's a kickoff, and that's Osir Kimball coming up and fighting his way out near the 50-yard line. We were really impressed with that run and the yards after contact. Now the Titans would eventually get stopped, and then this is defensively. Hello. Nice. That was the beginning of the end for them after yep, they that was nice lost play by yards. Armand Brown. And this is after the fumble. This is Salmon for the second time. Jumps over a man and gets to the house. The Which ball comes a out. But yeah, you see that? <laughs> that was Shane Ramey Rowland gets the assist. <laughs> and Reggie again. That was the more traditional end over end kick. And we are at 14. And now. 20, and with the extra point, it'll be 21. Solomon gets the first three, all in the first quarter. Second quarter, third down and goal from the 10, and Whitaker steps up and finds a wide open Noah Buchanan on a slant. Reggie Williams again. And there we are at the break, 28-0. 
Titans come out first possession of the third quarter. Give straight ahead and guess there go that man again, John <laughs> Salmon to the house for his fourth touchdown of the night and in the last play he would play. And we missed one of the highlights when he ran 50-some yards. Because it was called, called back. back. And then here's a, I believe this is going to be a, a interception. Yep. Laid across the middle, Tom. Yep. And it was high and right into Johnny Geiger's arms, and Johnny brings it back near the 20-yard line. And here is the, the fumbled snap that goes back near Noah Smith falls on. That would eventually lead to a touchdown. Here's a Reggie Johnson boomer. This 58 may be yards on, the, on this punt. And nobody, you know, they didn't give up on it. And Terreno Allen gets down here and downs it. Inside the one. Actually, their, play, their player, Williams, was trying to block him, so it would yeah. roll in. I mean, he's smart. He knows football. And here is another really athletic play by Avery Martin. Got his hand on the pass and then intercepted it. And here's another Whitaker to Buchanan. Same play, just a little bit longer, and Noah Buchanan had his second touchdown of the evening. And Reggie? And from there, it was running clock. Garfield with a couple of meaningless scores. You'll see them here. This is a nice run by their sophomore quarterback, Pickett. And the Titans would yeah. roll out of here 42-16. to 16. And a successful senior night for the band. And I think in two weeks when we're here, Tom, it'll be homecoming for the Titans. Well, got, their next game, though, is Warrensville. Right, away. And they'll uh, <clears throat> they'll face a team that hasn't won a game yet. I think maybe one game. Yes, one. But they but score they a lot tonight. of points. They score a lot of points. Right. One of the games that they lost, they scored 34 points, lost 35 to 34. So okay. they don't play good defense, but they do play good offense, which means they got athletes. Right. I want to recognize some people with from uh, Club TV 20. Sierra Casey, Jada Sanchez, Aldo Zapata, Tavon McClellan, Drake Hansen, Cedric Anderson were all here manning cameras and technical stuff. Terry Trout on a camera. And the ubiquitous one, Joe Bach, <laughs> for at least for another couple of weeks. Uh, yeah. Back there, there he is. No, that's, uh, that's me. Who's got that ugly face <laughs> on there? <clears throat> Thought you were trying to get Joe, Terry. He won't, he won't switch to himself. <laughs> He gets the final call. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, there he is. How many years with TV20, Joe? Uh, 23. 23, 23 years, years he's been doing this. Wow. And we appreciate him. And I'll tell you what, Joe and I have had some experiences. I'm sure we'll talk a little bit about it during the next ga and final game that we do. You know, sitting under a tree at Cleveland Heights getting <laughs> rained on and all kinds of different up on a ladder, doing oh, games from a ladder. Yeah, yeah. The back of a pickup <laughs> truck. So, yeah, that concludes us for from George Daniel, 42 to 16. For my buddy Tom Bauer, this is Jay Ferguson reminding you all it is a great time to be a Titan.